Hey guys, today I just want to share with you my completed build of the Dragon Momoko 1100 scale Strike Noir. So this is advertised as a Master Grade, but since it's not really technically a Bandai product, it's not really technically a Master Grade, I guess, anyway, but this is sort of a Master Grade uh, made by Dragon Momoko. So basically what they did is just use like kind of the Master Grade Strike RM as the kind of base for this, and then made just the Strike Noir here. So just this kit was actually given to me by my friend, Bull. Uh, so just once again, thank you to him for giving me this kit. He wanted me to give Dragon Momoko a chance. Uh, with their more recent uh, ventures like this one here. So I said, okay, yeah, I'll give it a chance. And uh, just actually, I didn't do any out of box review for this. You, some of you may well know that already, but um, uh, rather than just snapping it up first and then disassembling it for painting, which I would normally do, uh, in this case, just because I was unsure about how easy or difficult this was going to be to disassemble for painting, I thought I would just paint it as I go. So uh, there, I, I even I never saw what this kit actually looked like all assembled, unpainted. But I don't really care too much for the stock colors of the just dragon of the uh, strike noir. So I changed up the colors here. I kept the color scheme in terms of like the color placement all pretty much exactly the same, except for a little bit on the wings there. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much the black I replaced with this darker gray. Actually, I have the exact paints here. Let me show those to you. So yeah, that black I replaced with this Gaia number 62, medium blue. It's just a slightly bluish gray color there. For the red, I replaced that with number 19, lavender, just a light purplish color. For the yellow, I pretty much kept yellow, except to just change the tone of it a little bit, I used this. This is also from Gaia, but this is from the Gaia Mechatro We Go color line. Uh, so it's light orange. So it's a yeah, very light orange, kind of character yellow almost, but it's a really, really super nice shade of yellow, I think. And then for the eyes and the cameras, I've used number 18, Emerald Green. Really love this shade of green, and you might actually probably see this uh, again pretty soon. And last but not least, of course, for the main color, which on the regular suit is just kind of light gray. I've gone ahead and made it just a little bit lighter, almost white. Basically, this is a neutral gray one, number 71. So I used all Gaia paints for this. Uh, and so yeah, that that very light gray, it's almost white. It's like basically white. Uh, but anyway, so that's pretty much all I did was just change the colors. There's nothing really else to like modify it about this. The only thing that I really did to it was just like sanding down all the surfaces. I think I talked about that before in a work in progress video or something. Uh, the only thing that I really noticed about this kit was that a lot of like the flat surfaces were not really perfectly flat, so I just wanted to sand those down, make them nice and flat. That also has the uh, nice effect of also making the edges really sharp, so uh, you I don't know, may hopefully notice that, that uh, the edges of this kit are going to be all nice and sharp. I think that goes with just how nice, like sharp and pointy and angular the design is. Just want to rotate that just a little bit here while I'm talking. Uh, of course, at the end of the video, after I'm done just talking a bit about the kit, uh, I'll show you guys a kind of montage of a video of it. So this kit does have a load of accessories as well, uh, mostly uh, just kind of the hands and stuff. It has a lot of different stuff that you can do with the backpack. Uh, so as I said, this kit was a gift for me, but I've had my fun, I've enjoyed painting it and all of that, so my intentions for this now are actually to sell it. So if you're interested in buying this kit, then let me know uh, and send me a message, probably on Facebook is the best bet, or an email to my Zaku Aurelius official email. Uh, and so yeah, I don't want to do a whole lot of too much posing and stuff with this kit uh, right now, just out of risk of... I'm just worried about scratching any of the paint or something. I feel like it's on there pretty good. Uh, but just in case, I don't want to get too crazy with the poses just in this review uh, before um, having someone buy it. I wouldn't want to have someone buy it and then get it and it's got a bunch of scratches on it. So uh, not too worried about that happening, but just in case. So anyway, uh, this does have a lot of accessories Yeah, on the backpack. Like it has these guns that will fold out. It has these swords that come out there can take that out here, let me show you. There we go. These come out like that, and those can be held in the hand. They actually have different handles, so uh, these are the handles that are there. Then they have another set of handles that actually have a hole in them. 
Yeah, this other set has holes in them and they have these dedicated hands for holding them. So if you wanted to actually have these swords held in the hand, you just switch off this piece. You can take that apart there. So I didn't remove that small little seam line on that part just because uh, in case you want to actually have these hand held. I guess you could just hold on to that, but it probably wouldn't be quite as strong. So then to go in the swords, we do also have these beam effect parts, which will just kind of fit in here something like this. So you can fit that beam effect part into there like that on those. So those are pretty cool. And then these just fit into the backpack. I think these are pretty interesting swords. Uh, of course, you can straighten out the handle there if you wanted all of that. Uh, it's a pretty cool accessory. I like it just on the backpack. I just kind of like the backpack just exactly how it is uh, rather than just kind of messing with it. But then we do also have some of oh, these like wire guided little spikes here. So you can see you've just got those painted on there. We have two wires and this is the full length of it. It's really long. So two of these are like, really, really long wires. So one of them I just cut in half here for the two of these. And even these are pretty long here. These can be attached into either the foot. Uh, you can have them like shooting out of the foot or out of the hand. So we have two different sets of open hands. One set of open hands are like this. As you can see, there's a slot there in the hand for plugging in the wire while our other set of open hands uh, don't have that slot. So if you wanted to just open hands, you can just use these. If you want to actually use that uh, wire effect, then you can use these hands here for having that shoot out. I have found that the hole is a little bit small, so I did have to, and I haven't done it actually on the hands here, but on the actual little uh, piece there, I had to just make the hole a little bit wider to actually fit the wire. Uh, so I'll do that here on the hands maybe later. But uh, then we also have a set of pistols. I don't really care too much for pistols on my mobile suits. Uh, these are supposed to attach onto the side skirts, but again, uh, not sure. I, I'm just going to leave that up to the discretion of uh, whoever ends up buying the kit, whether they want to attach them or not. Uh, I personally am just kind of, yeah, not really a big fan of these. But I think they came out well, anyway. Uh, they're nice and simple little things. A nice little green accent on there for the cameras I think looks nice. Uh, so I'm happy with those. Then I will also have two of these rifles. So these beam rifles are pretty cool. Uh, one thing you'll notice, uh, most of all of the uh, water slide decals on this actually came out really well. I was really happy with the quality of the water slide decals included with this kit, except for this one here. This one, a lot of the red ones are like printed so that they're like uh, white and then red printed on top of that. So the red is really bright, except for these for some reason. These ones that are supposed to go on the side of these missiles here are only printed just with red. There's no white behind it, so the red is actually uh, kind of dull there, unfortunately. So I just painted the top part in the purple and then just the end of that yellow and then just the camera in green like that so it matches the color of the mobile suit there. I believe this is actually, I, I can't even remember at the moment, but this is a different color gray as well. I think for the inner frame of the kit I used, I guess I forgot to talk about that. I didn't show that color. But for the inner frame of the kit I used the uh, same color as I used on the Efree, which is just the dark color of the Nazca primer. So that's just that uh, dark color paint primer that you can use for that. So anyway, we have two of these rifles. These can just be handheld. So for holding, whether you want to hold the rifles or the pistols, we have a set of trigger finger hands. Now I've heard also, some people have told me that if you want to actually hold the trigger, the trigger, uh, if you want to actually hold the handguns that you actually have to like trim some of these parts, they don't actually fit in there too well. So that's the other reason why I haven't uh, actually done anything with that yet because I didn't know that before painting it. And now uh, I'll just leave that up to the discretion of whoever buys the kits. Uh, if they're interested in that, I'll, I'll fix that before sending it to them if they want to have the, uh, the hands holding the pistol. So uh, that's pretty much it for the accessories. So two sets of open hands, two trigger finger hands, closed fists, they're there obviously on the kit, uh, and then a whole bunch of guns and stuff and all of that. So overall, this was really just a simple thing. I just wanted to paint this up. Uh, it wasn't really any sort of like big project or something. It just kind of took me a while. I was going with it like really fast at first and then just like when it came to the panel lining and, de and uh, decaling, that just seemed to drag on for a long time. And then after that, I was just really lazy to actually get this in front of the camera and get this video made here for you guys. So finally getting around to this, sorry for the wait. Uh, this was just kind of fun, simple project. I just painted it up and uh, enjoyed it pretty well. I think it's a pretty nice quality kit actually. So uh, 
I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty much all I can say uh, about this. There's not really too much else to it, but to just show it off to you guys. So I'll get this guy spinning, I'll stop talking, and you guys can just have a look at this. Let me know what you think down below, and again, if you're interested in purchasing the kit, just uh, send me a message and make me an offer, and uh, we'll sort it out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, enjoy.